welcome into the Web3.0 era on EOS. And I am here with uh, Maurice Vanegas again. Thank you to be with us. Uh, how are you, Maurice, today? Excellent, excellent. Uh, very busy. Things are are moving rapidly. And, you know, we wanted to jump right in and start sharing some of the some of the events that happened since since our last since our last uh, meeting. So without further ado, why don't we just jump right in? ERC, Enterprise Resource Center. Now the job of ERC is, is that you'll get, everyone will get to a certain point where you're gonna have to have multiple accounts. You might have a shop that sells sodas and candy, uh, but at the same time, you may have a smart contract that, that keeps track of all your transactions. And all of these accounts need to be powered up. Now it gets very time consuming if you are constantly having to be worry about resources. So what we developed was a way, we wrote our own script and we were able to power up all these accounts that we have. And uh, we decided that for Pomelo, we would deploy this code onto the US mainnet so that everyone would have an opportunity to use the same things without having to write the script. Right now we're gonna use, we're gonna log out of this account and we're gonna log into EOS.MLT and we're gonna try show this particular account that is full, it's got 100% so no transactions will go through as it's already used the CPU, but we can add it, we can add it to here where the first thing you got to do is we got to add a balance you have to add a balance we can add just one one eos and you'll see that on the upper left hand corner it'll update in a in a bit of, in a bit meanwhile we'll go to this account this one here that shows that it needs cpu This is in milliseconds, so we'll give it about two milliseconds. And this is in bytes. This will be more than enough. And we'll add it. You see that we have a transaction. And this particular account is all working on a smart contract resource.mlt. Here we will see that. Oh, it looks like we're in the middle of updating quite a bit of. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's Alfonso. So I just added the power up. It's still doing some other things, but let's see if, if it now it usually takes about a minute. Here we go. You see it? So here's the account, Alfonso MLT. It's powered up and it's powered up full. So if we when I refresh this, it should now come down to zero and it has. Boom. Exactly. So that's the idea. So here, you know, you can add as many accounts as you want and track it and it'll just power everything up uh, for the user without having to worry about without having to worry about resources it's perfect we're not taking anything there's no special tokens you all you got to do is, is log in add uh, if you guys remember i added one eos it's added to your deposited account we will also add a cabinet that will say you know once this Drops below five EOS to send you, and this is very cool, Patrick. We haven't covered this. It's going to send you not an email. We are going to start using the memo box of OVA transfer to start notifying people. So we'll be sending 0 0.001 EOS with the message your account, EOS.MLT at Enterprise Resource Center, has fallen below your, your five EOS your five limit account. And so we're going to start getting away from Telegram and getting away from emails. So that's what we're, we're, we're doing. This is ERC. I want to thank publicly all everyone that, that, that supported all our, our grants. Uh, we, 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 uh, we've got support for the bot, which is doing fantastic. Now it's up to like 13,000 MLTs. Um, we got support for this enterprise resource center. It's done. You can actually go in and try it out right now. 
Uh, we're still debugging, but everything's okay. And then we, we got support for EOS transfer tracking, which everyone's going to need for tax reasons. Uh, even today, you know, we're in the middle of an EOS explosion of the price going up. At this particular second, when you send it, you have to be responsible in knowing how much in value that corresponded to your fiat. So boom, that's ERC. Uh, uh, number two. Uh, the Enterprise Resource Center on Pomelo. How was going? Are you happy with the result? We got a lot of donations from the African area. It was really good. And then I got a lot of support from the people that have seen me uh, work for the last five years trying to make something out of this great idea that is Web 3.0. So I'm pleased. Uh, and it's created different, different ideas. So as we, we start to work on one part, it starts to leverage into other, uh, other ideas. So anyway, very pleased. How did it go for you? Thank you to ask. Uh, yeah, for uh, MindWeb, uh, I had uh, 62 contributors. And uh, yeah, that's just the continuation. That's my third season, you know. So uh, for me, that's uh, just the continuation. And I am uh, creating a cockpit data analytics for uh, EOSB Swarms with Jesse Jaffe uh, to showcase the result of the campaign EOSB Swarms. For example, for this special UFI number 11 and the EOSIO Swiss Workshop 15, I have made a special EOSB Swarms that was just started on Saturday and for 72 hours. But we know that after 24 hours already, there are 254 active bees that have already swarmed the, the Twitter uh, content. So 72 hours was just a challenge for me. That's the longest uh, EOSB swarms that I have made with Jesse. That's 72 hours, but that was just for a challenging. And I have received like about uh, 320 uh, loves and fast 300 retweet. And I have jumped into my Twitter uh, account. I was, before the EOSB swarm, I was on 1,500 followers. That's already very good. And now I have 1,620 followers. So I have gained 120 more followers on my Twitter account. That's just uh, amazing. Just to, to tell you the how Nova Crypto is going with the, the, the channel, Twitter, and also the YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, 400 fast more than 400 subscribers already. So all that doing with my own job since uh, 2018. And now that we have the EOSB swarms uh, by Jesse, that's helped a lot, the marketing. So we have to use the EOSB's marketing uh, 2.0, the EOSB swarms to swarms our content. That's very good for UFI movement. That's very good for Nova Crypto. That's very good for everyone into this EOS ecosystem. Democratic Republic of Congo adoption of EOS marketplace, UFI and EOS increasing. We will see some photo and there was a tweet published by Maurice, EOS PGL MLT, BP. And maybe you can comment on on those uh, images. What you yeah, want? Yeah, so so we we have a promotion where we send new users at random one EOS, and the rest they have to find a business on EOS Template One or EOS Marketplace where they can close the balance of the loan. So this helps both parties learn more. Learns the business be able to upload their website and, and it helps the user use his EOS to make the transfer. So there's a lot of labor that's created in this promotion. And then both sides learn quite a bit because you cannot learn about EOS unless you're using EOS. And so 
uh, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, this was just, if you look at all the pictures, this all happened in one day. So the adoption is great. Let's move on to number three. So we have a number three, the Nigeria knocking uh, adoption out of the ballpark and experiencing some growing pains. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. That's the group of uh, Nigeria. The Nigeria, Niger, UFI Nigeria group. And yes. uh, we have how many members? We have 4,000. 436 members currently at the time of this video and there is a lot of engagement in this group right a lot of new people coming in just scroll through a lot of people inviting other people a lot of support you know this is like all that education of people using <laughs> eos now it's starting to go from person to person so it's the people that are helping the people understand about eos so this is it's it's fantastic we got a lot of support for our Pomelo grants from from the Nigeria group, and you know I finally got my Hufi shirt, and uh, we're 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 doing great, we're doing great here. Yeah, we see that you have a lot of engagement for your Pomelo grants that was ending uh, on uh, August 17, and there was a lot of uh, engagement to to support you about ERC. Pomelo grant about EOS account uh, creation with the Telegram boat and about EOS D track your three grant indeed on Pomelo season three that's correct you have uh, always the EOS D track the EOS account creation bot and now the enterprise resource center and the community of uh, UFI Nigeria is beyond is beyond you and supporting you a, a, a lot. I am not yet into this group. I am into the UFI English. There is also the UFI English. If you go in Telegram and you search for UFI English, this is another group and this is about 5,391 member. And that's the, the group where I am joining Maurice and where we announce the um, our uh, UFI uh, episodes. And then Maurice has also, is everywhere. So he's also into the UFI Nigeria one for the community of Nigeria. Mm. And there, Nigeria, this one that we show, showed, that we just showed you. So that's a, a big community, uh, UFI. And this is not only um right this is not only english this is also nigeria uganda and here it's nigeria something here to share uh, it's an article of 2015 already but it's always true there are seven in ten people globally that live on ten dollars or less per day so maurice maybe we can share this article of this research center and it's on September 23rd, 2015, this article. And maybe you can uh, um, elaborate on that, what you can share on that, what you... Yes. Uh... So, yes, yeah, so this is one of the things that drives, that makes, makes every day... Uh, a day to show up and be passionate about what we're doing. If if you don't mind clicking on the, the image at the bottom of the screen, but this this is really scary. So what this is telling us is that most of the wealth in the world is concentrated in North America, 46%. You take you add North America and Europe, and they're controlling 87% of the wealth. That's just not right. Um, obviously there's something going that's not right. Uh, and but that's not as scary as the one in the bottom. The bottom one of the bottom is telling us that between Asia, South Asia, South Pacific, and Africa, ninety percent of the poverty is found in these two areas. But they have 
like 80% of the population. So what does that tell me? That tells me that we need to empower this population to do more, to be more educated and to help them. And this is where Q5 is seeing its, its foothold. And I can tell you already that in the last month, since we talked last, I come across a lot of intelligent people that, that, that are capable, certainly more capable than in the situation they find themselves in. So this is very exciting because, you know, as we start seeing users understand how to use UFI and EOS and then teaching another person, and then these people now are going to start to, well, how does this actually help us? And they're going to come up with their own ideas. And so that is going to lead us to exponential growth and adoption. And hopefully this graph will change. Uh, now, the reason we still have this Pui Research graph is because it's, it's, it's a citation that's already been proven. I don't know the new one, but let's hope that the numbers haven't gotten worse. And, you know, COVID was, was detrimental to developing countries more than developed countries. So let's hope that this figure is not worse. But anyway, back to what, why am I passionate about this? Because it definitely shows us as a community, we have a lot of work to in front of us. We can go to the next point because we know uh, Patrick and I wanted to keep this a little shorter than normal. <laughs> we usually talk too much. Yeah, that I will cut what you said. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, Maurice, that's totally true. That's the reason why we do all what we do. We are in the blockchain because we want to build a collaborative culture on EOS. We want to empower the, the people. We want to let circulate more EOS. We want to make liquidity dance. We want to educate the people what is about um, liquidity, how liquidity is created into existence. And for that, there is every time to remind there is the Jekyll Island documentary that uh, every episode we repeat. Uh, that's the 11 one. And that's the special UFO. Oh, that's the special UFI number 11. We have changed the name. No more special LATAM, special UFI movement. Maurice Vanegas, the founder of the UFI movement. And this documentary, Jekyll Island, is very important, very uh, essential to, 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 uh, to watch. So you find that into the video description. As always, you have also the UFI mind web mind map with all the episodes. And since the episode number 10, we have uh, the anniversary, the last one, we have decided to change for special UFI moment. And Maurice has. Look who's oh, got it. Yeah, I saw him this past Thursday. Brock. Yeah. Yeah. So Brock knows about UFI and he's got his, his shirts. And so. Uh, it was nice to meet him and talk to him a little bit. We didn't get to talk about the essence of UFI. He's a very busy man, but um, but I, I was able to get him a shirt and uh, we took a picture together. Where so, that was? Where that was? This was in Los Angeles uh, last Thursday. Uh, yeah, last Thursday the Thursday the seventeenth, the eighteenth. Uh, sorry, on Thursday seven, uh, eighteen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. There's Brock with this. So hopefully one day, Brock, you'll uh, come out and uh, you'll have your shirt on and we'll see it in a picture. But this is actually what the directive has always been for, of Brock. You know, is create something that will help a billion people. And I really firmly believe that q is that tool that will help a billion people. So let's see what happens. You know, we're on our way to a few ten thousands. Let's see, let's see how that, that works. Fantastic. That's a nice moment to share with us. Thank you very much to, for that. Because, uh, yeah, Brock Pierce is a busy man. Maurice Vanegas, too. Myself, Nova Crypto, a lot on this uh, on this one, August 23rd. Nine interviews for the EOSIO Swiss Workshop number 15, fellow Maurice. And uh, we just record that at 
the last minute, I will say, uh, because we were very busy, and I am happy to to always committing what I what I say. And Maurice also uh, for that. Thank you very much. And your shirt, uh, your your shirt is just amazing. Yeah, baby, we can say the U5 movement by the owner Maurice Vanegas with this with his shirt, beautiful shirt. And uh, yeah, we have some question of the um, the U5 movement. How cannot we uh, jump in? There are some questions that we want to answer. And we will try to do our best to to answer Maurice and myself about those questions. So Maurice, thank you to to help me on on those questions because that's the U5 movement. You are the founder. I am here supporting you for sure. But uh, let's do that together. The first question is: What is the work of block producer in the EOS blockchain? And there are different activity that do that does a, a block producer first he has to verify and validate the transaction and maybe another thing also he has to reward the token holders and incentivize them to collaborate so maurice can can what can you say on the eos bp pgl dot mlt you are a block producer so that's the perfect question i would say for you <laughs> I guess that's a setup. I mean, I, I mean, obviously not happy about it. Maybe we should just skip, just skip it. We we continue to to share EOS with with people we don't know. Uh, we're hiring people all over the world. We're deploying we're deploying apps that people are are using. Uh, check our Twitter account, and and yet we're still unpaid. And so I don't want to go too much into that. So so anyway, next question. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's the that's what's supposed to be a block producer, but it is not exactly what it is uh, uh, in reality, into the reality of the things. But um, that's what it's supposed to be. I um, mean, I, I, I'll say that we were being paid at one time, and they and we were paid at one time because our work was recognized. And so and so, what happened since, right? Uh, so you know. Uh, obviously, we're not happy, but it is what it is. We're, um, we're regardless, regardless, regardless of of us not being happy or not or or not, we still see value in this code. And and even though we've entertained going somewhere else, we we just put too much into EOS at this time for us to to move. But we're we're thinking of other options. Uh, okay. If this continues, okay. And to mention also, you are into the alliance BP alliance, uh, my vote EOS. So maybe that it's worth to mention. Uh, that's help maybe for your block producer. Does does that help really? Well, I mean, we've we've been pushing it. I think we're, we're the only ones that seem to show with pictures or actions that something's being done. And so the goal, obviously, that would be very cool if that happened, because uh, there are a lot of block producers that are standbys that would be more in, uh, involved in, in EOS day to day. But, you know, at this point, it's, it's just not working out that way. I mean, a lot of the people that are being paid, unpaid or, or you know, standby block producers are paying for other people to support them. So, I mean, you know, it, 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 this my videos would be great. So, but it hasn't happened. Let's hope that it does. You know, I continue to support it and tweet it. And so we'll see, we'll see how yeah. that, that plays out. But regardless, okay. we're here. We're going to keep doing it. We feel good about it. Uh, uh, there's a question that someone said, well, where does the money come from? From UFA? It comes from my pocket. And it comes from my trading, and it comes from 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 my expense. When I order these shirts, no one's giving me the money. I'm putting it out there myself. Now, exactly. now Pumelo is is definitely help, and so we continue. We continue to hire people. We continue to train. We continue every day to be very active 
on Telegram uh, with people we don't know. And there's the, and we were finding a lot of intelligence. So, you know, what, what, what we, the Pew Research quote that we just did is people live with $10 or less a day. Well, our salaries, you know, they're, they're not up there, which allows us to hire more people. And so now I would go back and I say, well, who are the people that are being hired by the inflation? And how does that reflect on how other people could be helped? But anyway, you know, we're going down a path that's, that you or and I don't have any say yet. So let's keep going. we got a lot of questions and we want to keep this yeah, short. Yeah, absolutely, Maurice. And that's true. A lot. That's mean a lot what you say because you are here, always here. However, that you are not very well paid with your blog producer, but at least you are uh, incentivize the people to collaborate. You you show them the the road, the path, and uh, the same for me. I continue to do the things. Pomelo helps for sure. That helps, but us we have to help us between us. That's the the point. We have to help us between us. Uh, why is it that? Our EOS accounts bears dot MLT at the end of it. What's the the the, the meaning? The the dot MLT. We wanted to you know give it give it a little more marketing, right? Dot MLT stands for the microloan token, and the microloan token is a token that's earned. It's earned when you pay, or and it's earned when you lend, and so. That is, we wanted to, you know, create a uh, Alfonso Z, which we just powered up, dot MLT. Who does he belong to? He belongs to the Hue 5 movement. Um, I er, I got the dot MLT award or extension on, you know, yes, account names a lot longer. I think I have the Hue 5 now too. So I might create another bot, Telegram bot that, that creates accounts without you five. And that would be actually pretty cool, right? Absolutely. And what is the full meaning of MLT? Uh, it's more than just microloan token. That's all an explanation about the mic. What is the full meaning of MLT? You have the last video. I will put a link to, and you can go on, and you have the explanation of uh, Maurice and myself. Uh, you have the explanation of Maurice about what is the full meaning of the MLT microloan token. That's just more than just uh, letters. Um, why is it that our EOS account are all in lowercase? Uh, that's not just the EOS account. That's all the naming convention, all about the namespace, the the, the system. And there is a link here on developers.eos.io. I will put into the video description. You can go there and you have the full uh, explanation. Why is it in lowercase? Uh, it's all about memory space to store those uh, accounts. That's not in uppercase. Um, okay. When onboarding a business, we pay MLT. Why and what it is used for? So I can answer that. We wanted to give utility to the MLT token. It's not just for onboarding a business on EOS uh, Marketplace. It's also for US Template One. It's also for getting a crypto uh, membership to Crypto Minder. Uh, some of the membership is burned. So there's a, a 1 billion MLT. Uh, every time you, you, you use it to some memberships, 25% some, uh, is burned. And so we wanted to to give it utility. You can also stake your MLT. You can stake your MLT uh, to earn dividends from every round. And so, and you can also in DeFi Box create a liquidity pool for MLT and EOS and earn from those that are transferring from one to the other. But uh, the idea is, is that we wanted to give MLT worth. And so, um, we can easily have a free membership, but will someone that doesn't pay anything uh, take care of it as much as someone that pays something? And it's always been that if, if it costs you something, you're going to take care of it a little more. So that was, that's the idea. But we've dropped the MLT of EMP to, to wine and ETO to wine. So 
it's it's it really is it's just more symbolic now at this point. What's okay. the next question? What are the aims of circulating EOS or does circulation of EOS boost the value of EOS? And I answer it to that by stating adding adding value by collaborating. What are the aims of circulating EOS? It's to add value by collaborating. And that's a short uh, answer, but uh, there are more to say. It's all about to empower the people between them, leverage the transaction, micro transaction between them. And um, yeah, Maurice, can you maybe uh, elaborate yes. more? For sure. Oh yeah, there's something I really want to, uh, and I add all the time in, in my message boards, and, but it's I never get tired of saying this one. The $5 in EOS has a higher intrinsic value than $5 in paper money. And why? Because EOS can be sent every 0.5 seconds. So if every 0.5 seconds somebody somebody circulates it and it's circulated 100 times, then the intrinsic value of those five original EOS is 500. So that's why the aim of circulating EOS is so valuable. And it's not valuable because it's 500. It's valuable because 100 people got to feel $5. And so that's why the EOS need to be circulated. Uh, breaking uh, in Nova. This is a special LATAM 10 or 11. What are we recording no, right no, now? No, no, no. It's not special LATAM. It's ah, special, special you, Sorry. You file it. That's right. Restate <laughs> that again. Okay. Restate that again. <laughs> no, no. Restate that again. Restate that again. Yes. Uh, Hugh 5. Uh, Patrick, are you Hugh 5 10 or Hugh 5 11? Special episode. It's Hugh 5 11. 11 already so breaking news with this we're starting to work on how could we speed up the transferring of eos so we're, we're working on a d app where if you receive eos to a particular account you'll be able to grab a percentage of it and if you owe somebody something then it gets sent immediately to that person and we're working on a way where that other person will get notified hey you got a payment uh, and hopefully that other person has the same program and they have someone else they want to lend, you know, pay. So if we start to program and assist community users with a decentralized application where they can receive payments and automatically send it out, and it's the same for the other one, we can achieve the higher intrinsic value, which, which you know, I'm very excited about. It's, it's also happen. what it's also what you what we name it uh, liquidity dance liquidity yes. velocity liquidity velocity velocity and yes. they, they, I will put also into the video description of Mike Maloney Mike Maloney uh, the economist guy that has interviewed uh, Daniel Larimer about Morico Animal Book on 2021 the first one that has interviewed Daniel Larimer about about MEA. Morico animal. That's uh, Michael Maloney, and there is a very well explanation about liquidity velocity. What we name ourselves liquidity dance. Liquidity dance. It's all this concept. So very well. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Maurice, for that. What's antelope, and how does it relate to UFI? Okay, so antelope was born uh, announced on. August 17, in an EOSIO fireside chat by the team of EOS Nation. I will put a, a link into the video description. I will put a, a link into the video description about the particular timestamp when that was announced, this Antelope. And Antelope is the new branding of EOSIO protocol. We have to forget the name EOSIO, it's not easy. But um, Antelope is the new protocol that uh, replaced the EOSIO protocol and also the Mandel. All those Mandel updates by Daniel Keyes of EOS Nation and uh, Yves Larose and all the, the, the team that has made those Mandel updates month after month. And that will be released on September 23rd, 24th. There will be a consensus upgrade, not an R fork. A consensus upgrade, and that's that will be entitled No More Mandel, that's Antelope. And Leap, Leap 
is the implementation of this protocol. All about C++, smart contract, that's LIP. And now how it's related to UFI? That's, a, that's a, I would say, very related to UFI with the, the, the previous question because we need to let circulate more EOS. We need more high throughput, 500 milliseconds, the block time, but also the, the finality. Finality on the blockchain is three minutes on the EOS mainnet, but soon with the uh, LIP protocol, that is the Mandel protocol indeed, but it's entitled LIP, we will reach fast the, the, the second for the finality. So that will give the possibility to circulate, let's circulate more EOS between the people because the time is the, 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 the scare uh, resource. Right, Maurice? We are into the, the, the scarcity of the time, the harvesting time of the people. So that's very important. It's very related for you, Fai. Fantastic. Uh, let's go on to the next question. Why do we implement EOS and how easy it is to implement it in our entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial operation? And I answer red, we have to think about to do public good on EOS. For example, with Pomelo, that's the perfect way to be entrepreneurial. You go on the Pomelo platform, you have a good idea, a good project that could help EOS, that could be a public good for EOS, that has not to be exclusive, that has to be very uh, uh, public, let's say education, or maybe you have a fantastic project like Morris uh, that can help a lot of people. And uh, for the mass onboarding, that's really public. So how cannot, how could not be uh, related to an entrepreneurial operation? What do you think? You, are, you have also entrepreneurial uh, uh, activities, Maurice, with a transit system, with uh, your, your bus company. So uh, you have EOSD track. EOSD track you use also for yourself into your entrepreneurial operation. Uh, well, I, I mean, the, the, everyone that's going to be an entrepreneur going forward is going to have to rely on Web 3.0 because it does the work of other people. The code will help you be more efficient, will help you in, 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 your, in being competitive and being more efficient and keeping tabs on, on jobs that you need as an entrepreneur you you need the most important one is you need to invoice and you need to collect and and who keeps track of that well the web 3.0 is going to be able to keep track of that uh, by itself and so uh, it's, this is the time to learn how web 3.0 is going to to help everyone what's the Absolutely. next one welcome to the web 3.0 era on yours that's uh, the the topic the, that's the team uh the, the the okay that's the um, that's the that's entitled our workshop is entitled for those next uh, coming uh, episodes welcome to the web 3.0 era and on EOS. and that's all the tool that maurice is building at our very oriented web 3 until up is very oriented Web3. If you go on the website antelope.io, the messaging, the, 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 the message is very oriented Web3 into the enterprise. We don't speak about blockchain. We speak about Web3 solution. And blockchain is just the support. It's just the support. The EOS mainnet, for example, is just the support. So let's move on. Um, what's the use of RAM? while creating a business. So you need RAM when you are creating an account. And by using the Telegram bot of uh, Maurice for uh, the creation of uh, account, it's all on Telegram, he take in charge the, 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 the RAM for you. And that's, use also RAM if you are storing data into a smart contract, you, you will need some, some RAM. So, have you other uh, 
things to add to that, Maurice? Yeah, RAM stands for random access memory. And, and the idea is, is that it's graphed quicker. It's stored on the computer in a way where you can access the information quicker. And that's an expensive part of a computer is the RAM. The next comes the CPU, and then the next comes it, how you connect it, and, of course, their storage. And so that's why you need RAM. You want access. Your All our ES accounts are in the RAM. Uh, a lot of the table information are on the RAM. And so that's why you need RAM. Absolutely. You can pour it, uh, pull it quickly. Okay. I want to know what this Pomelo donation means. Okay, so... Uh, on Pomelo, you have grant owners like Maurice, myself with MindWeb for the mind maps, Maurice for the EOS Telegram account creation, EOS D track, and now the EOS Resource uh, Center. And all that are grants. And Maurice is an owner of those grants. And what does it mean? Uh, to give Pomelo donation is just that you give some EOS to the project on Pomelo that you believe and the more unique donors the better for the grant owner because you can have uh, someone giving 100 EOS to, uh, to, um, to uh, Pomelo grant that's not the same that if a lot of people are giving one EOS if you have everyone giving one EOS, the, the, the matching formula of uh, the, the Pomelo uh, algorithm, that's the quadratic matching formula, will see more the unique donors, the better for your grant. So that's why it's very important to have a good dispersion. So it's uh, what is uh, the Pomelo donation uh, about? Something to add, Maurice, on that? Uh, well, you know, I think that's a very has been a very good idea. Uh, the idea with Pomelo, in essence, is that you want to incentivize people like us to code and develop, and people like Patrick to. to we want to incentivize, in uh, for our case, is incentivize our programmers to create uh, applications people can use. For Patrick, it's understanding the whole concept. So what Pomelo means is that if, if, if publicly we're able to incentivize financially some of these people, then they'll be more productive to create more. And so that's the idea. Um, and then, you know, you've got this thing about quadratic funding where it can't be gamed by one person coming in and, 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 and giving huge donations that have to be matched. If you look at the, you got to take time and, 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 and look at some videos about quadratic formula and it's a summation of how many members there are, not the amount. And so it matters when you get one EOS. Uh, as long as more, the more people want, that get one, one EOS, the more that that uh, idea will be incentivized. And that's that's the idea. It's a, it's 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 not a bad idea. Uh, yeah. I, I I like it, and we we've you know we've been uh, uh, on the receiving end of it, and you know let the people out there know that. Just look at my accounts, EOS Microloan, Q5.MLT. I mean, I'm sharing the EOS with actual people. And not only am I sharing EOS with actual people, but I'm giving them tools where they can learn how to use it. And so they're using it. And so I can't wait until the people that are learning how to use it start coming up with their own ideas of how to use it. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, good things will happen. And and I, I'm, I mean, we're... This is all about good, good things. So good things, great things are going to happen. Um, yeah, keep... what, what can I tell? What can I tell with Pomelo? I am on season three, uh, my season three already with uh, MindWeb. And what I have learned on this season and at the end of uh, Pomelo season two, I was arriving to the conclusion as a grant owner, you can also donate to other Pomelo grant owner. And if you are donate to other grant owner, as a grant owner, if you are donate your donation also to other grant owner, that could be perceived maybe that you do sponsoring. And sponsoring is prohibited. It's not allowed on Pomelo. But if you are giving for the good, 
and doing something with another grant owner and let's say a good collaboration. You are giving, but at the same time, you do a good collaboration. That's one plus one equal three. That's a great public good at the end. So EOS Nation see that also on a good eye. Daniel Keyes, when he is reviewing the, the Pomelo grant, if they are public or not, sometimes you have some people that are not accepted, but we have to collaborate between us. That's, uh, that's very that. And Pomelo helps. Um, okay. It's, uh, voilà. Oh, <laughs> here I have two questions in French uh, that I will address and I will try to, to, um, to translate uh, to translate that in uh, English also. So uh, there is a question in French here. Bonjour, Monsieur. Ma question est de savoir d'où proviennent les fonds de promotion injectés dans le mouvement pour tester le système. The question is: This this person want to know from where are coming the funds? that are injected into the U5 movement to test the system. And the, question, the answer is, la réponse est du pocket de Monsieur U5. <laughs> oui, the answer oui. is from the pocket of the Mr. U5 here into this video because the blog producer, BP, PGL, DOT, MLT, is not receiving the rewards how it should suppose it to be. So if you want to succeed here into the EOS ecosystem as a blog producer, you have to inject a lot of uh, funds of your pocket. Vous avez besoin, en tant que blog producer aussi, d'injecter vous-même des fonds et heureusement qu'on a Pomelo et on est reconnaissant d'avoir Daniel Keyes, EOS Nation, EOS Asia avec Pomelo. We are very grateful to have EOS Nation, EOS Asia behind the creation of Pomelo, totally on-chain, totalement on, on, sur la chaîne EOS Mainnet versus Gitcoin. Gitcoin is not on-chain, is off-chain. So, avec EOS, on est totalement on-chain avec, avec Pomelo. Alors, d'où viennent les fonds de, en, en grande partie du, du pocket de M. Yufai. OK. <rire> OK, seconde question. Que diriez-vous du cas d'une personne qui fait le rodage de ses marchandises en cours de route. Ok. J'essaie d'interpréter la, la, la phrase. Ce, ce que la personne essaie de dire ici, ça c'est est-ce que c'est bien de, de remettre en question euh, son business pendant qu'on est en train de pendant qu'on est en train de fonctionner. The question here is is it good to let um, move your uh, business when you are doing your business. During that you are doing your business, is it good that you are uh, moving your business? La réponse, oui, c'est bien. On a, vous devez pivoter, vous devez toujours chercher des solutions. That's good. You have to pivot. You have to find always other solutions. There is no the point A and the point Z and the road will be like Disneyland, all in calm, all in peace. No, there are always up and down. Il y a toujours des hauts et des bas et c'est normal euh, pour une entreprise. C'est c'est expected. That's expected. Uh, if you don't if you don't want to have a noise, don't become an entrepreneur. Because if you are an entrepreneur, si vous êtes un entrepreneur, c'est que vous aimez aussi les challenges. Donc, c'est normal, c'est totalement normal. OK, Maurice, I tried to, <laughs> to answer to that, but yourself, you are the entrepreneur into this uh, interview uh, with your companies and also uh, the U5 movement. So you, you know what does it mean 
to be in a struggle sometimes or stressed or uh, it's all about resilience. The key word here is resilience, resilience, accountability, reliability and alignment. Always try to be aligned, aligned, heart, soul and mind. <sighs> Breath, take a breath and don't be upset. Sometimes we are upset for stupidities or maybe because we are just in stress, but we do better when we are just uh, forgetting that we are in stress. And today, this video was a good video. As always, I am happy. We love what we do. When you love what you do, all is more simple because also we know why we do the things and uh, for this reason we are in alignment and thank you to to be with me um that's our 11 episode and uh yeah that was a challenging one this one we have to say at three two one zero we will say in chorus go you okay go you fly so first. three two one zero go you five <laughs> and the second one that's eos at three two one zero we say in chorus go eos so three two one zero go eos <laughs> thank you maurice <laughs> All Always right. a pleasure to be with you and uh, uh, fine. thank you for fine. your time. Thank you for your time. And I am not crystal ball, but sure that we will be that we will be uh, in episode number uh, 12. That's on September 23rd. <laughs> and we will cover. Thank you, Maurice. Thank you. We are the business guy here. We deliver happiness. You see on the right, on the top, we deliver happiness. So uh, we will be on our uh, episode number 12, uh, September 23rd. It's all about um, welcome to the Web 3.0 era on EOS with Maurice and the tool that he, has, that he is building with the bppgl.mlt. You find all the links into the video description. Vote for bppgl.mlt support my vote eos you have all the links about also the the, the jekyll island documentary uh, watch that again if you have not time to watch uh, don't have add the time to watch watch that for the first time maybe for the 11th time <laughs> that's worth the the watch that's worth the watch um, and i will put also a link on mike maloney uh, about Velocity, um, velocity of uh, EOS. Thank you, Maurice, for the Web3 um, the Web3 uh, experiment with the images here. That's very well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Always having a good time, Patrick. That's all you can do. If you don't click, if you don't wander, then things get stale. But if you're always wandering, that's how... There will always be something exciting to find. Uh, thank you very much, Maurice, also to have donated for MindWeb.io. I appreciate it a lot. You have donated, I think, uh, two times, three times. I don't remember exactly, but I want to, to, to say a big thank you to everyone that has donated to MindWeb.io Pomelo Grant on season three. That's been a lot for me. Uh, give me also a good... Uh, vibes to continue the experience with the mind maps and i, I think i have also donated to to maurice for it, for his grant i i don't remember exactly i have donated to a lot of people uh, there are a lot of good projects on pomelo season three and i think that's a very good season and pomelo season four uh, is knocking the door uh, that's that will come very soon uh on october something like that and uh, yeah, Maurice, shout out for your grants. Uh, that makes sense. EOS account creation, Telegram bot. Uh, EOS uh, resource center, very well done. The interface, uh, that's help. 
and also the EOSD track uh, that you are using for your own company, your own business also for your bus uh, system. So shout out. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be good. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Patrick, for all, everything. Uh, keep me posted, send me the Linux and I'll help get them out. Thank you, Maurice. Let's do this. Thank you.